Hello everyone, my name is Amra and welcome to Trapped in the Forest. Normally I just jump in straight into the game and stuff like that, but because I'm not actually streaming this game and the developer actually wants me to put the content up onto YouTube, I'm going to go through the Steam page like I normally do on Twitch, so if you're not following me on Twitch, check me out down there. I review a bunch of games, this is going to be one of them and it's going to be the same kind of format, just recorded for YouTube. So yeah, Trapped in the Forest, you awake in a mysterious forest that seems strange and familiar. Have you been here before? Is this a dream or a nightmare? So it came out almost a year ago. Developer slash publisher is Ammonite Design Studio LTD. That's $13 Australian. Yep, not much else to the game, so let's just get into it. Honestly, don't expect much from this one, but when I get asked to play a game, I'm always into what the fuck? Always willing to play a horror game. We got some mushrooms. Oh, hello. Yeah, I totally need this. Right. I'm going to assume this is the developer's first game, mainly because everything that I'm looking at right now is very simple. Just a bunch of assets placed in. Question is, is there, what kind of gameplay is there and what story is there? Oh, you eat some berries. Oh, okay. Can I chop down trees? Like, what, what's happening right now? Okay. Do I have an inventory? Hang on, what? I got three logs and a stick. Oh, damn. Okay, I... So, so what, what is this game? Okay, what, what, what is the simple stuff that I can build? Stone, leaf, flint, den, sticks, Jesus Christ. Oh my god, okay, a bunch of animals are starting to spawn in. Alright. I mean, I feel sorry for the birds. Are you still falling? Like, what, what's, it? okay. I'm not, is that a cog? Metal, okay. This is kind of like oddly like Minecraft in a way. I did not expect this. I thought there'd be a, like a lot more to this game. I'm very confused. Can I kill the- Oh fuck, it's actually attacking me back. Come on, let's do this. Let's- how did you do that? Oh, what the fuck is that? You need to rest by fu- But I can't- I don't have flint. Where do you get flint from? Is that Al gonna be chasing me this whole time? Is the skinwalker out there? What, you'll lot eat something? Oh, rest- um... Well, that thing's gonna attack me. That's just a wild boar. That owl's still coming after me. Oh no, that's coming after me too. Can I? No, I probably shouldn't go. Oh god, come on, give me sticks. These guys are just following me. This game is not well made. <laughs> Do you have any significance to you? Oh, hello. I'm sorry, but I have to do this. I gathered one meat. I picked up a stone. Cool. Sure. Okay. I'm just trying to get away from that owl. That owl is just going to continuously follow me. It's not proper hitbox either for this. So, um... Yep. Oh, God. Oh, I, I actually found flint. Okay. Well, there's a bunch of trees around here. So let's make a little, uh... What can I make? <laughs> um, a torch. A gong. There's, there's going to be an owl coming out of nowhere. Just... No, that's not the same owl. It might have given up on me. I hope it did. Oh, this is this is 100% gonna work. Four stones. That's that better be enough. It is not enough. Oh wait, it's enough for a campfire. Eat a build. Whoa. Okay. Well, I healed up. Okay, what do I need now? Um, 16 logs for a cabin. How many logs do I have? I got nine logs. Okay. You know what? Let's do this. I don't know how many logs come from a tree, but we got this. I don't know how long I'm going to record this for, to be honest. Uh, I'm going to just do a few things in this game, see how it works, review it, and then done. I don't understand how this is really a survival horror game, apart from the fact that there is constant owls coming after you. All right, so I can build a cabin now. That... That works. Hey buddy! Turns out it's just a moose walking on two legs. What else do I make? What what do I do in this game? A lean to? I don't even- a metal fence? An effigy? I don't think I want to make an effigy. Oh boy. Alright, this encounter is gonna happen, okay? It's gonna- 
Do, do you have pants on? What is this character model? This is 100% bad horror games. Um, thank Um. I picked up metal apparently. Oh, I've hit him a few times. Let me go and see if I can heal on the uh, the thingo. Doc, hey, the dude is stuck. Ow. Oh, I'm dead. Try again. Okay. I don't think I want to try this again. This is horror. Oh, I have. Yeah. All right. I don't understand the point of this game. I'm assuming potentially. Wait, there's a bow and arrow. It just takes for thread. Where do you get thread from? I'm making a gong. I made a gong, guys. Oh no, I built a second gong. So is the whole point? What's the point of this game? Hey, I'm I'm I'm, I'm all up for uh, getting free games, you know. But uh, this game has nothing to it. So the basis of this game is you've got a forest, random ass forest. Apparently, it also has bears in it. I don't think I want to come across a bear. It has a massive spider, apparently. Hi. There's there's a bunch of tents. Okay. Oh, hello. Oh, that's how you gain thread. Right. Why? Well, I think I think I'm done with this game. I don't really want to suffer it too much more, and um, I don't want to. Uh, is that a wolf? Yeah, I don't want to suffer this game too much longer. There's nothing to it. There are kind of landmarks, but not really at the same time. The whole idea of this game is to like hunt and survive, basically like Minecraft. It's as simple as that. It's just a bunch of random stuff generated into this map. You, you can kind of build a bunch of things, but one of the main problems with that is when you're able to build it, there's no like ghost of the item, so you can't tell where exactly it's going. I, I don't even know what half of the like, are, are these just decoration? I'm assuming they are. There's just a bunch of random items just lying all over the place, and just a bunch of random animals going about their business. This is the, th the biggest threat. I mean, there's a weather system, probably something simple like rain every five minutes. Even if you die, you still have everything on you. Nothing changes. Well, shit, uh, <laughs> I've played that for 19 minutes guys <laughs> Jesus Christ okay so I'm guessing the idea is it's kind of like a um, survival game it's one it's a plain and simple survival game the world is generated the developer has just input put in a bunch of assets that have scripts to them so you can destroy them and basically you can you can build stuff which which is like it's good hey you, you got you got building done but you also need the ghost of the item like so people know where to place it there's no story to this game whatsoever and if there is i mean i didn't see it in my 15 minute i didn't see any bit of it in my 15 minutes of walking around to make this game better in my opinion you need some kind of story of why this forest is familiar to the person it's just, just, just general story you have landmarks scattered across you can also have them randomly generated as well have specific landmarks that aren't just the things that you can build things that you can't build that are again landmarks this game could like this could be a nightmare that this person is dreaming and they're basically remembering parts of their life there could be specific items items and thing like landmarks again that are around the forest that gives story it can easily be a note that's there player reads it they get story from it they learn about the character there needs to be a lot more to this this is basically nothing this is like here's a template of a game work on it so i can easily not recommend this at all there's nothing to this and the thing is as well wasn't it 13 dollars? i just realized that this is 13 dollars australian developer if you're seeing this Add more to the game. You've got something here. It's a template. It's essentially a template you've made. Put story into it. Put like proper scares and stuff. Like you say it's a survival horror. Survival. Like, it's not a survival horror game. <laughs> it's just a survival game. You've basically got the wilderness. The only thing that makes it a horror game kinda is the fact that there's this essentially what could be called a skinwalker. It's actually just a dude wearing a deer on his head. Again developer if you're watching this because you did give me this game. Keep working on it. Again you've got a template. You've got the base of something. Just keep 
putting more into it. Thanks everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope Kevin made something interesting out of that. It was just my task to, to make a video out of this instead of streaming it. So even if it was bad, a bad horror game, uh, bad, bad horror games. <laughs> playlist so if you're interested in seeing other games that are easily a lot better but still bloody horrible there's a playlist bad horror games that's what this is in so uh i hope you enjoyed whatever this video is i hope kevin didn't die editing this and yeah go check out the game for yourself if you really want to check out all my socials check out kevin everything's in the links below and i'll see you all in another one bye bye